Welcome to today's episode of the Digital Peloton News, September 7th, 2018. In these videos, I cover a roundup of everything that I find interesting for bikes, bike tech, both indoors and out, because no matter where you choose to ride these days, you're connected and part of the Digital Peloton. Today, we cover an update of the most hyped yet unseen power meter in cycling, the IQ Squared, what teams start shipping the G3, Jet Black Whisper Drive firmware updates for their smart trainer, just what happened during my live stream the other day, which caused a 10 minute 360 watt chase back to the group. Nvidia unleashed a GPU that just might be capable of running smoothly through the dusty roads on Zwift. And I put you towards a video from Hambini that's everything you'll ever need to know about bearings. Kicking off today with the IQ squared power meter, the most hyped and most funded power meter we have ever seen, yet we haven't seen yet. There is still no data on this power meter. We've seen the pedal plug itself, we've seen the form factor, Still no data, we're still waiting. So just looking at the stats here of this unit itself, it's, it's super impressive the amount of energy people have, the amount of cash people have put down to purchase this unit before it's even out. So the IQ squared power meter here over on Kickstarter has raised just under a million euro. They flipped over to Indiegogo and again, 1.2 million euro over there. Unbelievable numbers there for the Small form factor, pedal plug. Now it's gonna increase your Q factor. That's gonna be a little controversial, but look, we're gonna to have to see how these things go when they come out. I have recently sent an email to the team after being bombarded by everybody asking about this power meter. And I said to them, look, I'm honest. I'm the most skeptical person about these power meters. I don't think you're gonna do it. I don't think they're gonna be accurate. If you can prove it though, and if they are accurate, I'm happy to cover them. We'll happily talk about it. We'll put them through the Llama lab test. and We'll see if people are really gonna get what they've already paid for. So, interesting stuff. An update that team has posted over on Kickstarter shows they're out grabbing that test data. So this may be the first time we've seen a real IQ squared power meter in action. So just zooming a little bit closer in here, they're out there with their test rig on the road, testing the power meter, collecting that data. Scrolling down, we can get a little more, bit more uh, information here about what's going on. So they're using an Altegra crank set there a lot of zip ties and a lot of tape involved, which makes me a little nervous, but they are using the PowerTap P1 pedals as a reference point there. You can see that using with the six or seven degree float cleats there as well. So if that power meter itself does match the P1 pedals, it's happy days. The PowerTap P1s are a pretty good reference point for power. We'll see how we go. Interesting times. If you've put your money down for these power meters, I'd still be nervous but I'm keeping a close eye on this one. The team did get back to me with a thank you for your honesty. And uh, yep, of course they'll get me across a set of these uh, power meters, pedal plug, I don't know, what do you call them? They're pedal plugs. And uh, yeah, once they're ready to go. So I'm nervous for everybody, stay tuned. Next up, what team are now shipping the G3 unit that I've covered here on the GP Llama channel? You can see a ton of boxes there, the left, right units, the self-installed. Over at Power Meter City, they obviously have them in stock there as well. Uh, the reason this is quite significant is because the G3 single self-install is pretty much the cheapest power meter you can get out there at the moment, which covers Ant Plus or Bluetooth. It covers both, but you need to switch modes. So for $259, if you already have a compatible crank and you're happy to get your hands dirty, sticky, gluey, whatever you need to do to get this installation done yourself, there's an option there, ready to go. Jet Black. Whisper Drive Smart Trainer. Now this wasn't a glowing review that both myself and Ray did around about the same time earlier this year. Few issues in erg mode with that power going up and down. Cadence, look, I think that was a definition of wonky in cadence. Few issues with the power as well. So this week, I tested the new firmware for the Jet Black Whisper Drive Smart. Happy to report erg mode, nice and smooth, just as it should be. Cadence, as close to spot on as you're gonna be. So the cadence values were really, really good. Power wise, nothing to report new there. It was a little bit different to my power meters, but they do now have a calibration or a spin down option in the app. So I was told the data is pretty good from their testing. Whether my testing's a bit out, we shall see. But it's good to see the team there taking the feedback that we've given them from the real world scenarios here, well, from the Llama Lab, also testing that Ray has done as well to improve their product. Now over to my live stream this week, which should have been branded Llama Live Epic Failure. Well, what happened here was I unboxed the Cyclops H2, the new version of the hammer. And I wanted to try something new. I was pretty confident out of the box this training was gonna work. So I set everything up here in the Llama Lab Scheduled a live event, so everyone was alerted about that. Doing the Aussie Hump Day ride, had everything set up, cameras ready to go, lights, camera, no, no action at the start. It stuck at 20 watts. Now, 
I dug for hours and hours after this to find out what had actually happened. So at the start, I rolled out, the trainer was stuck at 20 watts and wouldn't move. I went to the pairing screen. I quickly jumped over to the Asiomas over Bluetooth. That's what was connected at the time. I panicked, I hit go. I was a minute and a half down. I needed a 10 minute 360 watt chase to get back onto the ride. I was pretty raw during that live stream. So if you wanna see Llama Live Raw Edition, go check out that stream, links below. But then after that, I spent a few hours trying to replicate the issue that took place. There was a world switch. There was an Ant Plus FEC connection that was hanging around. Whether that was getting in the way, I'm not quite sure. I submitted some support tickets over to Zwift with full detail, trying to get to the bottom of this. I couldn't replicate it after that. I did many, many further tests off camera, off the live stream, and uh, couldn't replicate it. Everything worked just fine. The word back from Zwift was officially, it wasn't a Zwift issue. It looked to be a trainer issue, but they will be raising this with Cyclops. So, mm, interesting times, and I will be keeping a very, very close and very critical eye on this trainer for my future rides and future Llama lab tests that I'll be doing here in the lab. So I'll keep everybody posted on that if there's any updates, but we will be looking at the Llama lab test for this unit in full, but I think I'm gonna give it a few more weeks just to make sure that doesn't happen again. Stay tuned on that one. One for the gamers and computer geeks in us all, Nvidia are just about to release a brand new GPU which should allow us to run Zwift in full res, full 4K, full, Actually, it's gonna send us broke. It's another GPU out from NVIDIA, which should really one up. It's not gonna to top itself like the Favero Asiomas did, <laughs> but it should top, it should better the GTX range. So the RTX range here is gonna send us all broke because they're quite expensive. But again, the reason why I think this is important to cover it because we will see the trickle down effect in prices come down. So the old GTX 1080 cards should come down in price. Everyone should be able to update their Zwift machines, their Windows machines to run games and they have a better experience indoors. Laptop users, these GPUs will be coming into the mobile chips, but again, there's no real upgrade path for laptops. Throw it out, get another one. Anyhow, happy days and uh, more Bitcoin mining for us all. And finally, to put the Llama spotlight on another content creator slash engineer, Hambini. Definitely check out this video on bearings. I was looking at doing a bearing video and pulling in some knowledge base and some resources. No need. Watch this video start to finish by Hambini posted May last year, it is absolutely fantastic. Geek out, Hambini's depth of knowledge in this field is absolutely brilliant. So give him a subscribe as well, mate. I love your videos, keep up the great work with the content. So that's a wrap for today in the Digital Peloton. If you spot anything out there yourself that you think I would be interested in and it'd be worth talking about, drop us a line below in the comments or send me an email, I wanna be across it. And coming up next week and the week after on this channel here is content from the USA. I finally booked my tickets to Interbike. There's a lot of things over there that I need to be checking out. And if you're a subscriber to this channel, I'm sure you'll be interested too. If you're not a subscriber, hit subscribe, stay tuned. We're off to the States. Cliff bars for days. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.